Hi, this is Jay Tedeschi, Product Solution Evangelist at Autodesk, and today we're going to take a look at some exciting new technology that we call Inventor Fusion. Now we're going to use Fusion today to perform what, are, what is referred to as direct modeling on this torsion spring in this brake assembly. So we'll begin by, by selecting from the marking menu this spring and then isolating it from the rest of the assembly. Now the edits we're going to be performing are going to be done relative to its own coordinate system. So we'll go ahead and turn the display of that on and then let's change our view so that we're looking essentially right down the axis of rotation of the spring. Now let's go ahead and grab the body and from the marking menu we're going to grab the move command. Now the uh, triad we will reorient onto the origin of the coordinate system and now we simply drag to rotate the, uh, the entire body. Once we're done, we hit uh, accept and commit those changes to the model. Now we need to make this spring somewhat wider, so we're going to uh, perform a split. So from the marking menu, we'll go to features and let's select split. And we'll start by picking this face and we're going to change from a face split to a body split and then select the body again. Now as our split tool, I'm going to pick this face right here all the selections are satisfied so now we will commit the change again to the model. So now let's uh, just get rid of body 2. Um, you could either pick it from the browser or you could if you wanted to just delete individual faces you just select delete face uh, from the marking menu. It automatically uh, heals the solid so that body 2 has now uh, basically been modified with those faces removed or in this case we'll just delete the rest of the entire body. So now we're back to a single body uh, that being this one half of the spring. So let's turn the uh, bearing block on. Now this is what basically supports the spring and we're going to make a ch another change to make this somewhat wider so that this long straight piece fits in that slot. So we'll just uh, drag it out here. Uh, it's a little too far so let's just keyboard in uh, five millimeters here. Let's commit that. As you can see, it's also quite a bit longer than it needs to be. So we're going to use another direct modeling technique. We'll pick a face. Now from the marking menu, we'll select Press Pull. Now this allows us literally to just press or pull a face or set of faces. In this case, I'm just going to push it in 78 millimeters. That looks like a good distance. We'll commit that change. We'll accept the change. Now let's rotate around and take a look at this split face, which originally was on the center line of the part, but now because we moved it, it no longer is. So again, we're going to do press pull, but this time we're going to snap to an existing work plane. So I didn't even have to do a drag that time. I was able to snap to other geometry in my model. So we started with a two-sided spring that we then split once we started editing. So what we'll do now is let's uh, mirror this thing. We'll just highlight everything. Go back to the marking menu. Let's grab mirror. Select the face is already selected. So let's just pick the plane. Right there. Once the plane is selected, it will mirror the geometry. And we accept the change. Commit it to the model. And we're pretty much done. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, unisolate the rest of the assembly. And as you can see, we were able to very quickly make a geometric edit to the part that otherwise would have been almost impossible with any other tool. So thanks for your time, and uh, I look forward to uh, talking to you again next week.